French. I'm going to talk about shopping cart theory, Jordan Peterson, and India. You could be wondering, what's the connection? Well, there is a connection here. Let me explain. You may have heard about the shopping cart theory. If not, look it up. It's fascinating. In short, what it says is that a person's moral character can be determined whether he or she returns the shopping cart to its designated spot after the use. Simple. If you think about it, this is a deep, serious subject that tells so many things about the people and the society we live in. It kind of bothers me when I see people leaving shopping carts right in the middle of the parking lot or wherever they feel like, because it can hit other cars or it can crowd the place leaving no space for parking, right? I've seen parents with their kids leaving shopping carts, getting to the cars and driving away. I wonder what kind of role model they're going to be to their kids. Kind of disappointing if you think about it. Now, why do I think it's important to return the shopping carts to designated area? Well, it says a lot about your ability to do the right thing, whether someone is watching or not. That's what it is all about. Remember, there are many things in our life. There are many things in our life that may not be illegal, but they are the right thing to do. For example, you're not breaking any laws when you are rude and inconsiderate to someone in a local store. It's not illegal. You can do it. Playing loud music on your phone speakers when you're working out in a local gym is not illegal. But these things cause inconvenience to others, right? These things show that you lack certain moral compass. I'm sorry, this is a little harsh, but that's what it shows. It shows that you're not capable of understanding what it takes to build a self-governed, sustainable society that respects everyone. When you play loud music in a public place, you're causing inconvenience. When you leave shopping cart in the middle of the parking lot, you're causing inconvenience to others. This is where I think of Jordan Peterson's powerful message, clean your room. Where is the connection? Well, here's the connection. If you are kind of person who returns the shopping carts, I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, you also clean your room every day. That's because you believe in doing the right things in life. Doesn't matter whether you're being watched or not. Doesn't matter whether it's legal or not. You do this. You understand how powerful self-governance is. And that's why you do the right things. Think about this for a minute, right? Think about this for a minute. This doesn't stop at individual level. These are the qualities that differentiate a good neighborhood from a bad neighborhood. A developed world from a developing world. Look at a typical developing country like India. What do you see there? Chaos on the street, garbage thrown everywhere, lack of structure, lack of organization, right? If you think deeply about it, you realize that these are the results of a moral failure. Poverty is just an excuse in many cases. Being polite to strangers is a powerful philosophy. When you throw litter, break the traffic rule, jump the line, you're telling the world around you that you don't care about others. This has a direct impact on the quality of the society you're going to build. When you accept a culture of causing inconvenience, it shows up in hundred different ways. The traffic chaos, the unfinished payments, the heaps of garbage, a poor infrastructure, and the corruption, they all make sense. Remember, it's the philosophy that either builds or breaks a society. It can be philosophy of self-governance based on orderliness, or it can be philosophy of chaos. It all starts at individual level with you 
returning your shopping cart to designated spot, and cleaning your room every day. Do you agree with this? Let me know what you think. Leave your comments. Thank you.